aluminum foil. That's one of the things that I've researched lately. And a lot of people say that aluminum foil, you can't just melt it down. And it just turns straight to slag. I've heard so many people say you can melt it down or you can't. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be melting down a whole bunch of aluminum foil balls like this. And I'm going to see if I can get some aluminum out of it. And I know there are going to be people in the comments saying it's not dirty. We went to, Ch to Chipotle last night and this is my aluminum foil for my burrito. So I'm going to be melting that down too. So that covers that fact. So let's get straight to the video. And one thing is I don't have my cameraman today. So you're going to have to deal with me coming up to the video and doing this. Alright, I'm back. I just had to start a forge back there. And one thing is, I, I don't know if you all are going to be able to hear me with the leaf blow in the background, but I am going to be wearing a respirator for most of this video because I do have hardwood floor scraps in there and that has some sort of stain or laminate on top. I don't know what that is. I'm going to be starting the forge with those and plus the aluminum foil also has a coating over top of it. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. Alright guys, I've been running my forge run for about 10 to 20 minutes now and um, my crucible is about to get red hot so I'm going to start throwing in some balls of tin foil or aluminum foil. Got three out of four, that's pretty good. I'm going to try and get a shot of the forge for you all. Alright, so it actually looks like the aluminum foil is melting down. I'll try and melt down the whole roll. I think I got 180 square feet. That was like five bucks. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna get my money's worth out of this aluminum foil for scrap. I just pulled out like a five foot piece of aluminum and then I just balled it up. I'm gonna see how long this takes to melt. All right, let's see if I can get this in the shot. Didn't take that long to melt. I just want to take this moment and say go down there, subscribe, like, and hit the bell notifications to get notified every time I post a new fun video. I've left that other aluminum there for about 10 minutes to burn down. I'm, I have a big old hunk. This maybe is about a quarter pound right here. Uh, I'm gonna start throwing stuff like this in just to move this along pretty fast. Hey guys, it's been about a half hour in real time since I've talked to you last time. Really all I've been doing for the half hour is I'll roll out a piece of aluminum, tear it off, crumple it up, and throw it in the forge. That's all I've really been doing. And you know, it gets kind of boring, but I'll roll out humongous pieces and then just smash them flat on the anvil so they can fit my forge. That's really what I've been doing for the past half hour. See you again. This wasn't a big piece like I intended, but I just want to show you what I've been doing so it's more compact. Here's a little bit bigger piece. This is the last of my 180 square feet of aluminum foil. So we'll see how much aluminum I get out of this. And then I'll see you in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm just about ready to pour the aluminum. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that.
have a little bit of technical difficulty. All right, guys, my metal casting was a fail. I was trying to cast a small aluminum cross, but that didn't really work out. So I'm just gonna dunk all my tools and my aluminum in the water and get going back to the house. This one might not be as hot as the others, but I'm still going to dunk it. All that stuff is... Pretty hot, huh? Hey guys, I just want to explain something what happened. Well, the mist that aluminum foil, when you melt it down, it turns to slag. That myth is busted because all this. Look, this is all aluminum foil. This is only aluminum foil. This was the only good thing that came out of that. This was my failed casting and this was all a runoff. I just want to explain what happened and that's about it. See you in the next one.